be a man instead of an intellectual, specifically an intelligent man. Okay, so this is for you guys who are high IQ, maybe you were a bit nerdy in high school, or you hid your uh, IQ like I did in high school and acted like everybody else, because I knew that was the way to be popular. Um, and at the end of the day, this is this is super important, and it's something that I learned I learned early, but um, I didn't really fully grasp it until I was in my like mid to late twenties. Okay, and it is about being a man, specifically an intelligent man, instead of an intellectual. Okay, there were various points in my life where I thought, uh, you know, it was important to read books. My mom was a big reader. We always had books around the house from Nietzsche, Sartre, all the philosophers, uh, the classics, um, Tolstoy, stuff like that. I thought it was important to read those. I thought it was important to be able to understand and watch the right movies, you know, the critically acclaimed movies, listen to the, the right music, all these different things. Now, this is something I didn't really share with my friends, but I took pride in, in, in knowing these things on my own. I didn't share with my friends because I grew up in, you know, your middle-class neighborhood where it was about being good at sports and dressing well and, and, you know, being good with girls. So I had these two sides of myself, really one that was the personal hidden side and, and one that was the, the side that, that I faced everyone with. Okay. And you can probably see that in some of my videos where some guys will think I'm a quote unquote do bro or, or something like this because of the way that I've grown up and the way that I speak. But then in, in some of my writing, you'll see um, that there is that intellectual capacity there as well. And the important thing though, that what I'm trying to say is, is it's learning about balancing that and it's learning about when to use the intellect and when not to use it. Okay. And not being a, what I call a smart, dumb guy. All right. A smart, dumb guy is a guy who has to be right in a conversation. So he will use his intellect to embarrass the other person or he will be on a business call with a client and tell them why they're wrong instead of just shutting up and letting the client, um, letting the customer be right, okay? And what it comes down to in reality is the living as a man, as your core um, belief, and an intelligent man comes down to valuing yourself over what you do and what you've done and what you've accomplished over what you know, okay? The man, or specifically the intelligent man, values what he's done and what he is as a man, his character and what he's accomplished over what he knows. The intellectual values what he knows over what he is, okay? So you have a guy who's an intellectual and he will be a snob and think he's better than the other guy who's become successful because he knows the right bands and the right music and the right movies and he's read the right books. And in his mind, he's superior. But in reality, in the actual game of life, he's working a job for minimum wage at Starbucks, okay? And he resents the successful businessman that comes in and, you know, with the, the fancy watch and, and all these other things, okay? I'll tell you which guy I want to be. I don't want to be the guy working at Starbucks. No way, no how. Okay. And it's really important that, that you understand that, that just because you're intelligent does not make you superior. It really doesn't. It's what you do with the intelligence. To me, my IQ and my intelligence and my beliefs are all worthless to me unless they are, are serving in making me happier. Okay. If if all I'm doing is accumulating knowledge and thinking that I'm intelligent, in reality, I'm fucking dumb because I haven't put that knowledge to use and haven't made that knowledge work for me. You can't take that knowledge with you when you die, okay? You can't take knowledge. You can't take anything with you. So unless you're using everything that you have to increase the quality of your life, you're hustling backwards, man. You're hustling backwards, dude. It, you're totally 180 degrees wrong, okay? And... It all comes down to the, the intellectual values, his knowledge over what he's done, what he is, and what he's accomplished. The man knows that he values his, his character and what he's accomplished, and the intelligence is a tool for that, okay? And he decides to show that IQ if it's useful to the situation 
but he decides not to show it if it's not useful to the situation, right? If it comes off as uh, you're bragging or you're using $45,000 words on people who don't understand them, then you're hustling backwards. It's just like if you notice the transition from my writing of some of my early, earlier articles where I would use those $45,000 university words and now I don't at all. I try and keep my the vocabulary I use as simple as possible because I know that um, the majority of people are at an eighth grade reading level and 25% of Americans are at basic proficiency, which is like sixth grade and below. And I want my shit to be available to everyone, okay? I want, I want my stuff to be available to every single guy, no matter if he's really high IQ or if his reading isn't terrific, to be able to make his life happier, all right? And if I'm, if I'm running around, you might read some of these guys who write these 10,000 word essays and they use words that you have to look up in the dictionary and they think that that, that shows their intelligence. In reality, what it does is, is it shows that he's neglecting 80% of the, or 70% of the people who aren't interested in that and want some plain communication, Right. Same thing as on a client call, you mirror the client's body language, you mirror the client's way of speaking, you don't use words that would put the client off, right? You don't want people to think that you're showing off because you think you're, you're being smart, but in reality, you're not being smart, okay? It's the opposite of it, you're, you're alienating people, okay? You have to know when to use that. It's really important, okay? And it's also important in the sense that there's a lot of things that the guy who takes pride in being intellectual does wrong, okay? The intellectual lives in theory, all right? What he could accomplish, what he, his ideas on the world, his ideas on politics. The intelligent man lives in reality, okay? I don't give a fuck about politics because I'm not relevant in politics, right? I don't have a theory for how the world should work. I don't focus on that whatsoever, okay? I'll have... You know, I might have, I'll play with it or I'll think about the ideas in, in myself for kind of an intellectual exercise, but I am not running around telling people how the world should work, okay? I live in reality. I have my targets for my business. I have all these things that I want to do. And then I give you guys advice on that based on my reality, which you can take it or leave it, okay? The intellectual, a lot of the time, will refuse to take a position, Right? If he's feeling pushed in a corner, he'll, he'll refuse to take a position, whereas the man will happily take one and move on if he's wrong. I'm not above saying I'm wrong. I'll do that all the time. All right? or, if, or if I change my mind on something. right? If I have an older article, and I'll, sometimes an older article, I'll delete it because I'm, I, I don't believe in that anymore. Or I'll say, I changed my position on this thing. Or my position evolved. Right? Intellectual, because his, his whole self-worth is based on his intelligence, he can't be wrong. Because then he's not smart and then that's all he has. For me, I can be wrong all the time because intelligence is just a little part of what I am. And to me, it's much better to say, okay, I was wrong on that area. And, you know, I think that if I'm, I'm able to admit a mistake, you guys would perhaps trust me more. Or my girlfriend would appreciate the apology for me being wrong. It's like, I'm not perfect. I made a mistake there. And I can do that because the IQ is not what I live for. It's, it's, it's just one factor of like, you know, 10, 15 different areas where I get my self-esteem. Okay. The intellectual man, how many intellectuals do you know who question everything and doubt everything and they pride themselves on being skeptical or devil's advocate or the rational skeptic and, you know, overcoming bias and all these other things. And it's important to be skeptical. It's important to understand bias and it's important on all of these things. But in life, you, you have to go through it with confidence. You never have perfect information. You have to go through it with assurance. You have to believe in yourself. And that's the only way you can make other people believe in you. You can't get anyone to believe in you when you're not even sure of yourself. And you can't sell anyone on you or your products or your services when you're not sure. And if you can't fucking sell, you can't make money. And if you can't make money, no matter how smart you think you are, you're not smart. Okay? Because there's nothing smart about being poor. There's guys with PhDs who are working in Starbucks. Whereas there's guys in, that I worked with in sales that were barely fucking literate. I'm telling you, these guys couldn't send an email without a typo, a grammatical error, and something where I would say... How the fuck are you 
getting business. This guy seems like a complete retard. Guess what? They're making $200,000, $250,000 a year. They're happy. They're dressed well. They have um, you know, a nice looking girlfriend. Okay. And, and, and they didn't even have a super high, you know, IQ to work with. Right. So, you know, that, that's how you have to look at things. A lot of intellectual guys have a low mood, right? They've got low mood, low affect from reading and thinking all day. I know that when I was, I had to stop reading the classics because they were fucking depressing. Go read the Russian, go read Dostoevsky and Tolstoy and those guys, and Nietzsche and Sartre. That is some depressing fucking shit. And you know what? When I stopped believing in this type of objective reality and then I had to understand all everything and read everything, I can't take the knowledge with me. It doesn't make sense to be reading things and putting myself in a bad state. Whereas I can watch a, a YouTube video about a guy talking about positivity and it can be totally retarded, but I absorb that positive energy. I would much rather watch that than read um, a classic that makes me feel depressed because it's all about state, all right? It's all about state and that's the intelligent thing to do when you really think about it, okay? And that's why the man will do physical activity, right? Work out every day. Do the dumb physical activity. I'm in the gym grunting, groaning like a fucking caveman every day, even though I'm smart, because I wanna live with my fucking balls. I wanna feel like a man. I wanna feel strong because that makes me feel happy because that's what I'm fucking evolved for. I'm not evolved for sitting there all day hunched over a desk reading a 500 page book, okay? That fucks up my state. Yes, 